Well, hello, my name is Kendall Robertson. I'm a VISTA member here in Billings, Montana. And we are here at the Yellowstone Art Museum in front of Mary Kearney Hall's Seeing. And today we're gonna read Trevor by Jim Averbeck. Trevor. Trevor stretched his wings the width of his safe, boring cage. Just a tiny peck in the door would pop open, but Trevor stayed for the seeds. He coveted the stripy ones. He saved them for the loneliest days. Today he was tempted to eat the one he had hidden, but then it would be gone. So, though he had no one to sing with, he filled his lonesome cage with song. Chirwee, chittle, chittle. Outside, a tree stretched toward the sun until a branch inched past the window frame. A lemon dangled from the end. Hello, said Trevor. What a fine, plump canary you are. Will you sing with me? Chirwee, chittle, chittle. The lemon said nothing. Oh, said Trevor, you're shy. Maybe if I do something nice, you'll sing with me. Peck, pop. Trevor pinched his treasured seed in his beak and flew out the window. He deposited the seed on the branch. I've brought you a present, he told the lemon. The lemon remained silent. I like presents too, said Trevor expectantly, but the lemon offered nothing. Trevor hopped up and down, chittering and chattering. My turn, he cried. In all the commotion, the seed fell and was lost in the dirt. Now see what you've done, Trevor said. I'm not speaking to you. He turned his back on the lemon. And saw the vast, frightening world stretched out before him. He felt very lonely. Trevor looked over his wing at the lemon. If you're sorry, said Trevor, then don't say a thing. The lemon didn't. You're forgiven, said Trevor. Trevor built a soft nest for himself and his friend. The two huddled together through summer rains and enjoyed warm, sunny days. So did the striped seed, which sprouted and grew. Each morning, Trevor and the lemon performed a duet. Trevor sang the notes. Chirwee, chittle, chittle. The lemon sang the silences. Trevor snuggled up to the lemon. The lemon leaned back into Trevor. This is nice, said Trevor. I am never, ever leaving this nest. The lemon offered no opinion on the wisdom of this. That afternoon, a great dark cloud came over the horizon. The wind howled. Trevor pressed closer to his friend. A strong gust of wind made their branch tremble. It was all Trevor could do to hold on. With a whoosh and a thump, the lemon flew from the nest. It struck the sunflower below, scattering its seeds, then rolled out of sight. Trevor leaped into the storm. Come back, he called. But when the storm cleared, his friend was gone. Trevor cowered among the scattered seeds and wept. Are these seeds yours? A voice asked. May we share them? Asked another. Trevor wiped away his tears. Bright-eyed birds fluttered around him. Of course, he said. His friends would have wanted it that way. Before winter, Trevor and his new friends flew along the warmer climbs, singing together along the way. Chirp, chee, chip, chip, seat, seat, chee, chee, cheer, cheer, chittle, chittle, chee. But he never forgot his first shy friend who gave him everything and asked for nothing at all. The end.